By watching this video, you will learn about how do rainbows form, when do they form, but also other interesting facts about them, while admiring the most beautiful rainbows. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon that is caused by reflection, refraction and dispersion of light in water droplets, resulting in a spectrum of light appearing in the sky. Rainbows are formed when sunlight is scattered from raindrops into the eyes of an observer. Most raindrops are spherical rather than the often depicted teardrop shape and it is this spherical shape that provides the conditions for a rainbow to be seen. The position of the sun and the raindrops in relation to the observer need to be just right for a rainbow to form. The sun needs to be behind the viewer. The sun needs to be low in the sky at an angle of less than 42 degrees above the horizon. The lower the sun in the sky, the more of an arc of a rainbow the viewer will see. Rain, fog or some other source of water droplets must be in front of the viewer. Rainbows caused by sunlight always appear in the section of sky directly opposite the sun. It takes the form of a multicolored circular arc, but it also can be full circle. However, the observer normally sees only the arc formed by illuminated droplets above the ground and centered on a line from the sun to the observer's eye. As you rise from the ground by an airplane or by climbing a high mountain, the center of the rainbow rises with you until you see the complete circle. This means that each observer sees his own private rainbow. Two observers at different locations see a different rainbow. So when you are on the ground and see an old-fashioned half circle in the sky, your friend flying in an airplane above you can see the full circle of his rainbow. spectacular rainbow displays happen when half of the sky is still dark with raining clouds and the observer is at a spot with clear sky in the direction of the sun. The result is a luminous rainbow that contrasts with the darknet background. The rainbow effect is also commonly seen near waterfalls or fountains. In addition, the effect can be artificially created by dispersing water droplets into the air during a sunny day. A secondary rainbow, at a greater angle than the primary rainbow, is often visible. The term double rainbow is used when both the primary and the second rainbows are visible. In theory all rainbows are double rainbows, but since the secondary bow is always fainter than the primary, it may be too weak to spot in practice. Secondary rainbows are caused by a double reflection of sunlight inside the water droplets. The secondary rainbow is fainter than the primary because more light escapes from two reflections compared to one and because the rainbow itself is spread over a greater area of the sky. The sky inside the primary rainbow is brighter than the sky outside the bowl. This is because each raindrop is a sphere and it scatters light over an entire circular disk in the sky. The radius of the disk depends on the wavelength of light, with red light being scattered over a larger angle than blue light. Over most of the disk, scattered light at all wavelengths overlaps, resulting in white light which brightens the sky. Rainbows span a continuous spectrum of colors. For colors seen by the human eye, the most commonly cited and remembered sequence is Isaac Newton's sevenfold red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. In 1672, Newton chose to divide the visible spectrum into seven colors, 
out of a belief derived from the beliefs of ancient Greek sophists who thought there was a connection between the colors, the musical notes, the known objects in the solar system and the days of the week. Occasionally, a shower may happen at sunrise or sunset where the shorter wavelengths like blue and green have been scattered and essentially removed from the spectrum. Further scattering may occur due to the rain and the result can be the rare and dramatic monochrome or red rainbow. Rainbows occur frequently in mythology and have been used in the arts. The first literary occurrence of a rainbow is in the book of Genesis chapter 9 as part of the flood story of Noah where it is a sign of God's agreement to never destroy all life on earth with the global flood again. In Norse mythology, the rainbow bridge Bifrost connects the world of man Midgard and the realm of the gods Asgard. The first man who tried to explain scientifically the rainbows was the classical Greek scholar Aristotle. Rainbows can also be caused by the light from the moon. In this case, the rainbow is referred to as a lunar rainbow or moonball. They are much dimmer and rarer than solar rainbows requiring the moon to be near full in order for them to be seen. Does rainbows appear when outside are fog conditions? Yes, and the phenomenon is known as fogball, sometimes called the white rainbow. Because of the very small size of water droplets that cause fog, the fogbow has only very weak colors, with a red outer edge and bluish inner edge. It is possible that rainbows exist on other planets, for example on Saturn's moon Titan, as it has a wet surface and humid clouds. The radius of a Titan rainbow will be about 49 degrees instead of 42 because the fluid in that cold environment is methane instead of water. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you want to see more interesting videos, help our channel to grow by pressing the like button and share our videos with your friends. And if you're the first time here, don't forget to subscribe.